Hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome to Nadia's Crafty Corner. How are you today? And happy Thursday, which, you know, it's our party day. And I want to see if I can find me here so that I can see if it tells me that I'm live. Yes, it does. Hi, hi, everybody. Hi. All right. And welcome to Thursday Party Decor. And today we are going to make something fun, cool, different. And I want you guys to really open your imagination, right? Because a party could be, you know, hey, my friends are coming over and we're having a party. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be like a big fancy party. You can make all this beautiful decor and adapt it to your own everyday lifestyle, right? So last week, and I hope you saw it, we made these cute little attachments. If you guys remember, I left the zip ties on so you guys can see that's where we attach it to the chair. And if you haven't watched it, make sure you go back and watch how we made these adorable uh, pieces to decorate a simple chair and we made it fun easy and um, these like you see I detached them there we go and once the party is over these could become a really cute centerpiece they can be put anywhere you guys want okay so I'm not seeing comments I'm not seeing anything this is like a bit different than it is on um, the other platform I go live on all the time. So again, this, um, and what we're making today, you could do it as simple as this. I use the pool noodle here. Oh, I think I forgot to grab my floral foam. Yeah, I left it on that table. And then you can simply make the same arrangement, place it on here or any other surface, right? And if you have tables, this could be your table decor. Or you're going to see what else we're going to do with this today. So this is a simple um, piece of wood that I got from, this one is from Michael's. You can cut your own circle. And yes, there are holes and you'll see why. Okay. Or you could use a basket. You can use a cute little basket. This one is from Hobby Lobby. That's from, this one is from Hobby Lobby. And now with each one of these things that we have today, you see that? We can make the same arrangement. And wait till I show you because this is not all we're doing today. Um, so these three things that you can use to make whatever we're making today can be pretty coming down from a tree, right? So you can put twine and hang them. And how pretty would it be if it is a backyard party, a bridal shower, a baby shower? Maybe it's a wedding in your own backyard, right? You can totally make all these pretty things we're gonna make today. I'm gonna give you guys a couple of different options and just hang it with twine all over your backyard and you'll have some candles on it some lights and some fun stuff okay so i'm going to start and again if you want to make ev and have everything the same you can totally make the same arrangement we made last week so go back and watch it and you can uh use it for what we are doing today and i'm going to show you once we make the rest of the things what we can do okay so i'm going to put this to the side for now i'm going to put it right here let me grab my phone while I'm at it that I left on my other craft table that, by the way, I cleaned. It is so perfect. I don't even want to use it. It's so spotless. So 
I'm going to use just a little piece of floral foam and in a second I'm gonna bring it down. I just wanna cut this down. Um, floral foam, listen, you guys can pick it up from Hobby Lobby, Michaels, the dollar store, like whatever um, you, oops, you find it. You can use the soft foam or you can use the, the, the heavier styrofoam. I have this insulation stuff that works fine for me. Uh, I'm going to use a little piece of that. And you can always also use a pool noodle. Don't forget that you can always use that as well, okay? And <coughs> I'm actually going to cut it uh, yeah, a little smaller because what we are making, there we go. What we are making, uh, I'm gonna bring you guys down so you can see my table. You don't need to see me, right? All right, so now you can see my table. Hold it, okay. And you can see what we are going to be making. Hey, Jamie. Okay, at least I know that the comments are working. Okay, let me move this out of the way. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to um, work with this one, okay? As you can see, all I did is I took my drill and I drilled uh, two holes on the other side. And what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on putting twine to make it a hanging basket. And I'm not gonna do it now because I wanna be able to work with it, but it's very simple. You just pass it through. You might um, seek the help. Oh, we got it, and that's it. And then you knot it a couple of times and this will be hanging um, from a tree, an arch or a lamp, anywhere you want it, okay? But because I want it to stay flat on the surface so we can work with it, I'm just going to leave it like that. Now, you can choose to do the arrangement in the center, on the side, or whatever you prefer, right? I'm going to stay um, a little bit more to the side because what we are going to do is we are going to make these pretty into these gorgeous, right? Or these beauties into these beauties, right? And we're going to place them here so that when you hang this, right, you'll have some votives, maybe some um, flameless candles, uh, solar lights, however you want to do it. And I'm going to show you a couple of different ways. Now, you can, all, you can use this, this is a wine glass, and you guys, dollar store, okay? Dollar store. Um, you can use the champagne glasses, you can use the stainless glasses, you can use smaller things, you can use anything you prefer, okay? I'm gonna design with the, this size just because it's easier for you guys to see what I'm doing, okay? I also picked up these rose petals um, these were actually clearanced out at Hobby Lobby, but they're easily, um, you can find them easily anywhere you want. We're going to use some acrylic paint and the color is totally of your choice. I am going to do a little mix of this gorgeousness with that so that we can bring it down to this a little bit, but have a little bit of the dark. You see, there's a couple of different shades in here. Um, I'm using these gorgeous roses because they just look so real. It's, it's like, I almost don't want to use them. That's how real they look, right? Um, greenery, it's entirely up to you. For today's piece, I'm using lamb's ears and I'm going to use a little bit of pompous grass. This one is from, uh, Michael's. I believe it's from Michael's, but this is easily, uh, you can easily find it, you know, anywhere you want. So, and again, the greenery that you want to use, it's entirely up to you. Um, you can, this is just regular greenery, you don't necessarily have to go with 
lamps here, so like you can really go where you want. And then of course we're gonna have our glue gun handy. Of course we need that, so that's the first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to be very generous with my glue and place it down. Hi everybody, welcome to Nadia's Crafty Corner. And this is our Thursday party series, yes. So you have a party coming up. You know, listen, I got quite a few coming up. Uh-huh. I'm going to be the big 5-0 this year. Ooh, what? <laughs> the big 5-0. All right. So at this point, I'm going to tell you that, like, if you've been following me, I don't necessarily always put um, moss to cover my piece ahead of time, especially because... I am going to be using a greenery that will give me quite a bit of coverage, okay? So I'm going to hold off on that because we can always go back and cover what we need to cover, right? So I'm going to take um, all my pieces. I'm going to just cut them off the stem for now and then decide as I am oops, uh, making my piece how long or short I want them. But I want to leave myself with plenty room because I always say you it's a little bit like hair, right? You can cut it more, but you can't put it back, right? <coughs> <clears throat> so this is the combination we are going to use. Look how delicate and it's like a little country, rustic, but with a little bit of, you know, a little some some. And the roses that I picked have the push-up leaves and we do want to keep those uh, and make sure that we use them in our arrangement. And I just happen to love... Um, rose leaves I really truly do okay so how we're going to start whatever you make you start making your pieces you kind of deciding you know first of all your base is your factor that it's going to really say okay this is how tall how long how wide so I'm just going to Okay, so that's as much far out as I want to go, right? We don't want to go more than that because these will be up, but you don't want to come out to here with the base being like that. You do want to show it a little bit, right? And this piece, don't think we're going to throw it out because, <laughs> you know me, <laughs> we use everything. So I'm going to work on a triangle. So one, I'm going to go on this side. Now, you also want to keep in mind that, and I am going to glue all those pieces, that we are going to put our votives. Again, this might not be the size you choose, might not be what you want. However, and these can easily be glued, right? Do you want two? Do you want three? These are definitely too big for this arrangement. However, let's say you want to use this. Look how pretty it looks. And this and nighttime is going to give you such a pretty whole thing going on, right? And you guys, this is also a great way to involve someone in your party, in your wedding, in your bridal shower that is no longer with us. Maybe grandma had her favorite basket or your favorite aunt had a basket and you want to hard to be present at your wedding at your party this is a beautiful way to to do that i always think of that because there's always a special someone that i want to be present for my parties you know so i'm going to and we're going to put a third one so let's do that first so one, two, and now I'm going to go back here. And this is a little too long, so. And three. 
okay? So we have our first triangle, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go right next to it and insert my rows right next to it. And you see how we're starting to form our beautifulness right there? So now I'm going to take another rose and I'm going to do the same and notice how I'm making sure that my leaves are showing where I want them, right? So we're going to go right there. Oh, actually we're gonna go from the front. Wait, let me fix that. And the reason also um, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that first of all, you keep them the same width of your greenery because the greenery decided what you're doing right um be careful on what foam you're going to use okay if you use the soft foam and your greenery has a chunky stem you might just pull the whole foam apart right so you want to make sure that your foam is nice and strong to house all your pretties okay so we're going to put a third one so we're going to go right back here so we have our triangle with the green and our triangle with our roses so far okay that's what we have and you see how i'm staying on one side of my arrangement because i might just go and do this once we are done Okay, so now again, you decide what, hey, don't you go down on me. When, uh, what other kind of greenery you want to insert in there. So I don't know if I want to use this. So I'm going to go ahead and make another triangle with my lamb's ears. And I don't know, you guys, between real flowers and uh, silk flowers, I just got in the habit of always cutting the, the stem <laughs> diagonal. So that's the way I always do it. And it also helps if you have a stronger fo foam. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Oh, now I see the, the, okay. I see the comments. Okay. So I'm going to start on top. And again, you don't want to go too tall and you also want to pick your leaves, your greenery that have a good wire, a real strong spine everywhere so that you can bend them the way you want them. Okay, so I'm going to go to the side. And I'm doing another triangle up here. Uh, we're going to do this one. So one, two, and three. That's my triangle up here. And if you're having a hard time inserting your um, stem into um, your foam, get a skewer and just pre-drill it. If you don't have a skewer, you can totally use a screwdriver. See? And pre-drill um, your ways into, okay, your styrofoam. You see, now we're starting to bring our leaves down. And I'm not worried about the coverage because I still have a lot of elements that we're going to insert in, okay? <clears throat> so now I'm going to do two things for you guys. I'm going to show you um, what is going to look like with the same big roses. And I'm also going to show you what it would look like if you wanted to use a an accent flower okay so this is the same size and i always like to insert my rose my flower and then 
bend it a little bit because I want it to look natural, okay? I really want it to look like it's a real um, rose. And to be honest with you, guys, if you... <laughs> From far away, this really looks realistic. These roses are just gorgeous. They are really, really gorgeous. Okay. So, again, I'm going to bend this. So, notice how I am not going to put my rose right up above the other one. So, I am strategically planning them where there is none right below, right? So you have, okay? So we got a nice distribution of flowers all around. Let me grab my, nope, wrong one, this one. My little turning table it makes it easy. Right, right, Kelly, because they just make them so beautiful. Like, this is like a real touch. This is like a real, really beautiful um, rose, okay? So we have our color. We have our greenery, right? Look how pretty. But I do, we do need something right there in the center, right? So we're going to go ahead. And I don't want to cut it too short. Thank you, Kelly. And right in there. See that? And look at what we just made. Look how pretty. And if you wanted to leave this alone, friends, you're good. You are good to go. If you just wanted to leave this alone and make it like this, of course, you have to play a little bit so that we can hide the foam underneath but honestly you could be done just with the ear lamb's ears and the roses like you're good to go okay if you didn't want big flowers on top then you could totally go with i'm using the same color flowers and they're a little bit more wild they're not so structured you see they're not so structured um and i not sure if I like this dark green against it, but just for, to show you guys what it would look like if you wanted to change your mind and put a smaller flower away. That's too long. Let's go back. See, it's too long and it's okay, but if you make it too short, then here. You know. See, and that looks just as pretty. Look at that. Okay, but I'm going to keep it just with the bigger ones. Because I love, I just, I'm in love with these. Okay, so now before I insert this, because it will be a lot of coral color, right? I'm going to go in and break it down with another greenery. And when you choose your greenery, you always want to choose carefully meaning you don't want a bigger leaf next to this right because then the arrangement will get a bit overwhelming right so you want to go with something smaller and a lighter greenery a softer green not such a dark one right because if you like that look that's fine but, you know, we want to stay with the lighter side of it. Okay, so now we're going to sp spike things up a little bit with this. So that, and I am inserting them closer to my color. And we created height. So that when I go in with this, you see, now there is a little bit of a break and it just looks nice, okay? This is too long. If you have a 
what we call a pick machine. Um, you can totally go ahead and use a pick machine. To insert it so you don't need to like pre-drill with the um what is that called? <laughs> screwdriver, screwdriver. Okay. And you just again you always go in as a triangle. You see my triangle, right? And then if I want more, so I'm gonna go back and make another triangle, right? That's the way we do it always a triangle so we don't get confused and it's a little easier right and if you don't have enough of a stem just peel some leaves off here i have a stem let's check this one and if i don't i will just yeah we're good on this one but you can just easily do that and if they don't want to come off like that then you just clip them right okay so let's so we're gonna start from here so one and I'm gonna go here And if you're noticing, I'm putting these a little bit going down, right? So the reason why I'm bringing it down is because I don't want to do that and have greenery, greenery. So I want to have a break here so that when we go and insert our pretty pompous grass, we have the room for it, okay? So that's what we're trying to accomplish. That's what we're doing. What do you guys think so far? Is this something easy that, hey, I can make that. Hey, that's pretty cool, <laughs> right? Nice and easy. And again, it doesn't have to be a party. Hey, I wanna fix my backyard just for me to enjoy it, right? just for me to enjoy okay i'm just trying to clean up a little bit here so i don't have such a mess because i'm good we're making a mess i'm really good okay Let me just uncover my garbage pail because all the stuff gotta go so that you guys get a clean view of what we are making and again, you guys, I just made a circle. Um, yes, Kelly, you're right. You're right. Okay, so let's go in with a little bit of this, our pompous grass. And again, you could be done right here. You could just be done right here. So you have three versions of this, right? Like you don't necessarily have to keep adding on right you really don't have to so i'm going to start from here because i see a nice break in between the greenery and the rose so in this case because now we are filling i might not go so much for my triangle um rule so to speak right but to fill and again one as well if you need to you cut that off and you make this shorter right because I want to go right here. And have there we go, it 
come down so that not the whole cluster, it's so close to it. And remember to always spread your branches, right? So that it looks like it kind of goes together, you know? And if you need to, like I need to in this case, right? We're going to do something. I need a little bit more greenery on the here. So there we go. We're just gonna add a little bit more so that we can take these beautiful leaves and bring them together. See that? We're marrying all of them together. See? And spread them. off because I don't want it to be too crowd crowded right underneath and now if you wanted to make this like my idea was to hang it off of a tree but this is a beautiful table centerpiece as well right and if you wanted to like, let's say you need five of them. The way I do it when I have to make more than one of the same, um, I start with all the greenery. So I prep all my bases. Then I go in with the greenery. Then I go in on all of them. So I work it like that so that, you know, you can make them all the same. off another little piece we are not wasting those little pieces you guys because i'll show you in a second so one we're going to go right in here let me cut that off just a little bit more and again mix in those greeneries and so I want another piece here to balance it all we're going to balance it all together and keep it looking pretty and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make those gorgeous wine glasses. Those beautiful wine glasses. So this, I want it. There we go. Look how pretty. And I want a little bit more, a few more of these. I just don't have them here. I have them on the other side of my shop and I'm not gonna go all the way there, but this is also another um, option. You know, if you've been following me, you know how much I love my 60919, right? Um, and you can totally insert, not all of it. I will go maybe a little less. Make it smaller, right? And have a little bit more. If you wanted to. I'm not going to edit. Because, hey, come here. Because um, I'm not sure yet, but... Actually, I do like this spiky one. Oh, that's pretty. Let's add a couple of those. Yes, Dorothy, that's right. 
and we make many of the wreaths with them. Of course, you could tell the difference. However, it, they look pretty from afar. And at nighttime with some lights shining. Oh, Kelly, I couldn't live without my 60919. <laughs> couldn't live without it. Could not live without it. Uh uh. Now it has a different name, right, Kelly? I noticed in some of the websites that it has a different name. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Come on, baby. There we go. There we go. I think I'm going to go here with this one. Okay. Love, 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 right? Again, you could be done right here, call it a day. You can use it as a centerpiece. You can hang it from the tree. I can't wait for the sun to come out so that I can do it, um, hang it the way I had it envisioned <laughs> and show you guys. Um, yeah, right, Kelly? I'm not, that's not cool, okay? You can't make us fall in love with something and then, you know? do that not cool <laughs> so not cool hold on i don't want to lose my twine because we are going to need it okay so let me move all of this out of the way so i can show you a couple of different pretty ways that we are going to make our pretty glass and also you guys there is a video on youtube on how to make this one okay I have uploaded it a while ago, so it's in there. Um, make sure you go check it out. But I'm giving you a different version now. But that one is available. The video tutorial is on my channel. And if you're new to me, please make sure you subscribe. Let me just clean that up because all of this is not going to be good with the paint and... All the praise we are going to use. Come on, baby. There we go. There we go. There's a lot of fuzz <laughs> that came from the pompous grass, right? So much. So much. Okay. Clean this up. Nice. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm going to work with this one, okay? And what I'm going to do, um, you could paint it or we can use twine because that's the kind of vibe I'm going with and use some burlap um, and do different things to it. So, first things first, you guys... I couldn't do any of this without my detailed glue gun. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue coming up so that I can start my twine this way, right? So that once we start rolling it around the stem, the beginning part of it is not going to show and it's not going to be like ugly and none of that and it's not going to run away either okay and then i'm going to start wrapping my twine and just go around um now you have a couple of choices because that's all i'm doing is gluing and going around and i want to make sure that it's not, um, the glue is not coming up. Now, 
I am putting things on the bottom of my stem, so I am okay if this part is not absolutely perfect, straight, and precise. However, if you choose not to put anything on the bottom of the stem, then it's very important that you start it straight and you continue it straight because that will determine, you know, like it'll show, right? But for what I'm doing, it doesn't uh, matter much because of the way that I'm going to. There we go. Beautiful. It started. Now we're just going to go around and keep on bringing that twine all the way up. But you do want to make sure that you go straight. Once you started. And if your stem is the same size all the way up, then you don't really need to glue every single piece of the twine. But if it changes size, then you do want to make sure that you hold it down. So you see how I'm just going round and round and covering my stem. So the first two lines are always a bit, you know, harder, but once you get it going, it's really good. And now I have totally covered the beginning piece that was hiding under here so that it's not showing anything. And it's nice and secured and it's not going anywhere. And you see, now that I got it going really good and really tight, I don't really need to glue every single part of it. I'm just going to stop every few You know, every little bit, every few twists, turns, whatever you want to call them, right? And give it a little security. There we go. Come on, baby. There we go. And depending on the design you are doing, you decide how far up you want to go right you decide which way you want to go okay so here it's changing size for me so i'm going to secure it I'm being very careful and this is why it's important to use a detailed glue gun you guys because the regular glue gun this would be a mess like a total mess right because I don't want the glue to show <clears throat> Here we go look how pretty that looks and again you decide how far up you want to go Going to do one more round. Okay, now if you wanted to, you could keep on going, go halfway through the glass, and then you put a pretty 
votive in there and that will look really pretty as well. I'm going to stop right here and we're going to do some different on this side, but you can totally just do it like so. Just like with, with the with the twine like this. And I need to go a little bit more because I smudged the glue. There we go. And I just wanted to cover that up. There we go. Okay. And let me grab my scissors. There we go. And once I cut it, I just, just very gently and carefully, I'm going to glue it so that you can barely see where I finished it off, right? So that's what I have so far. Now, that's where these beauties come into play. And if you don't find these, it is A-OK. -okay. You can totally get um, flowers on clearance and just break the petals off, right? And these are cute because they have some lace ones, some burlap and satin so they have three styles in here i think those are yeah just the three styles in here and i probably should have removed this there we go oh i love it when it comes off all one piece love it <laughs> love it love it okay so that's what we have so far now i want to make a pretty little skirt on the bottom mm. so you can put the flower curling up the petal curling up or curling down it's totally up to you curled down is giving me like beach shell vibe so but curling curled up, I don't know. No, I think I'm going to go curl down. And maybe, yeah, no. We're going to go with the white on the bottom. Yeah, that's pretty. And if they're too long, of course, you can cut them, right? So I just noticed there is four styles in here because of the satin, some are shiny, some aren't. So I want the shiny ones on the bottom. So I'm going to make sure that that's what I put there. And I'm just going to keep going around and around and around. And make my pretty with the shiny ones. I'm gonna make it go. Yep, just like so. So that it looks like the bottom of a wedding gown. That's what I'm trying to accomplish. Look how pretty. I probably should have. Oh no, actually, oh I love. Oh, this is so cute. And I'm gluing it a little bit further down on the stem so that it stays nice and down. Look how pretty that looks. Look how pretty. You are supposed to go under. There we go. And you make the flowers overlap in whatever which way you prefer, right? In whatever way you prefer. So that's the bottom. Look how pretty that looks. Look how pretty. And I love lace, you guys. I super, super love me some lace and
I have this beautiful lace right here. Okay, sorry, you guys. We got this pretty lace that I'm going to delicately, gently glue on on the portion of my glass that it touches our bottom. So this is the back, that's where I ended, and that's where I'm going to go. Now here comes the very delicate part, you guys. So I really suggest taking your time on here. Um, and instead of using hot glue, you can totally use um, I'm not going to say a fabric glue because if you use a fabric glue, that's not going to stick right away and you're going to have to sit here and hold it and that's not something we might want to do, you know, and you want to make sure that you keep going straight. And I'm gluing just a little dot at a time, you guys. Because the last thing I want, I'm going to do the top first so that this goes straight. The last thing I want is to have to be cleaning hot glue off the glass. So i rather take my time and do it kindly. Right? And if you all know me, you know I don't really have patience. Like, this was something that I wouldn't particularly choose to do, but it's just too beautiful. And I love all these little touches when my brides want something different. I love it, love it. Because it just makes the party yours, right? It just makes the party yours. So I'm going to bring it back here. Perfect. All right. So I know that I'm going the right way. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Clean that up a little bit. Now, I'm not really planning on gluing the bottom the only reason why i did it is because i really needed to just have a little spot that was secure so that i could continue my work and going all around so this is where we gotta go and i want to make sure that it's all straight oh that's a little okay Okay, I'm going to cut just a little extra. And finish it off. Make sure it matches. And look how pretty. Look how pretty that looks. So pretty. And now all I'm going to do to totally finish it off, this is my front. I'm going to take my twine. Oh, let me, sorry, I didn't clean this up in the back. I'm just going to clean it off a little bit better. Hey, okay. And all I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to take a little bit of twine and give it a little dot here on the back. Bring it to the front. And I'm going to turn it around to you so you can see. Bring it to the front. 
I'm putting just a little dot of glue on the side so that it stops for me. And we're gonna make a pretty little some some here. Oh, I didn't glue it here. I'm like, why is it going down? Because I didn't glue it. Okay. Sorry, I can't do the bow upside down. <laughs> I can't do that. And you can really do whatever you want in the with the bow in the front, not put the little twist tie. Okay, give me one second and I'm gonna turn it around so you can see. So now you take this cutie right here. And look how pretty. And if you don't want it on the centerpiece, you can put it around it. You could put it next to it, like you could do it in any where you want. But look how pretty that looks. What do you guys think? Tell me, tell me what you think. I'm not used to all this quietness. Usually when we are on that other platform, people talk and talk and talk and talk. <laughs> oh yeah, you all paying attention. <laughs> so just something a little different. And I just, I love the lace touch. Um, we could probably add something in here to make it, you know, a little bit more lacy. Maybe take one of the petals and add it to the rose. Hey, you know, we could do lots of different things. Let me bring you guys up so that I fix my hair first. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oops. How do I do that? Okay. Hi. Okay. Wow, I didn't even know how to do that. Okay. So. This is the piece we made today. Used um, a base from Michael's and we made this cute little arrangement. My idea was to hang it with twine and have it on the trees to the pathway, right? And then add some pretty little touches of candles. If you wanted to use this as a centerpiece, you can totally just place this on a table, just like so. Pretty delicate roses right there. A little bit of lamb's ears and a little bit of other greenery. And we have ourselves a pretty piece. I'm going to add something there because I just saw an empty spot. I have an empty spot, so let's fix that right now, but I don't want it to be too heavy of a look. So we're going to cut some of the leaves off. That's too long. There we go. Because we did not like that empty spot. No, no. There we go. Fixed it. There we go. And there you have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, every Thursday is going to be our party decor. Um, and all little special different kind of touches. So we're going to make sure that uh, you subscribe to my channel so that you can come back to watch us. And this is a pretty hang it from your tree filled with candles or place it on your table with candles it's all about the candles it makes everything magic magical right you guys and there you go and again this could be done not necessarily <coughs> with the base you can also do it in a pretty basket or you could just make your own homemade base that's fine too 
you have leftover wood, we like to recycle and upcycle, right? But the same arrangement could be done in here. Look at that. Look how pretty that looks. See? Different ways to do things. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you subscribe to my channel. And make sure you follow us because we do lots of fun things around here. Bye, guys.